it is my pleasure to have an opportunity to talk to you local, right here in Chattanooga, answering your questions about your wallet. And let me tell you something. This is a time in your life that you need to pay attention to what you're doing with your dough. Are you? How are you doing saving money? What are you doing to rein in your spending? Get it together, just like the callers you're going to hear. <laughs> Our number is 423-702-9111 with you all the way till 2 o'clock answering your questions. And Chris is with me. Chris from Chattanooga is with me on 95.3 The Pulse. WPLC. How are you, Chris? I'm well. How are you, Clark? Good, thank you. So uh, am I worth getting any advice from if I come right to town and get a ticket? Uh, absolutely. Well, I'm glad you've uh, been introduced to our uh, friendly little speed van around town. I got two in one day. Uh, two in a day. So. How long will it be till I get the happy news in the mail? Uh, it usually comes in about three, four days. I guess if you're down in Atlanta, it might take a... I don't know. Might take a few days, but uh, all right. We're we'll, we'll, with it. Well, guess where I'm going to be when that ticket comes. Where are you going to be? Maui, Hawaii. Ooh. Well, Do, don't don't let it bother you that much. It's fifty bucks, and they say it doesn't go on your uh, insurance. Yeah, but it, it, it's no points and whatever, and I, and it's just a, a way for Chattanooga to tax people. I'll just have to exactly. live with that. But do you know why I'm going to Hawaii? Why are you going to Hawaii, Clark? See, I, I was waiting for you to ask me that question. Once each year, I take my show staff on a trip somewhere in the world as a reward. And we pick out the dates when we're going to go way ahead of time, months in advance. But we don't know where we're going to go until a deal comes up. And then in late December, there was a sale from Atlanta to Maui for four ninety seven round trip with all the junk fees. And so that's where we're going this year. Last year, we went to Shanghai in Communist China. And each year, it's just wherever the bargain might pop up, that's where we go. That sounds like a fantastic idea. I'm going to mention that to my employer. Yeah, where would you like your employers to take you? Like, where do you think they would think would be a good idea? Would they take you to Lookout Mountain, or where do you think uh, your employer would splurge for? Yeah, they, they might they might splurge for Lookout. Maui would be nice, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chris, how can I be of service to you? Um, yeah, I'm... I'm kind of been shopping some insurance policies over the last uh, month or so, um, and not too familiar with insurance. I'm kind of, I'm newly wed, and I uh, just bought a house. So well, congratulations. Just, thank you very much. So we've been uh, shopping some life insurance um, to cover uh, a big debt that we just took on with buying our house. So i um, not really sure what your take is on um, a term policy. And if you're familiar with um, a term policy with a return of premium rider. Yes, I am. It is something that was more popular uh, probably five years ago than it is now. But it is a very intriguing thing. If you don't mind, Chris, let me explain the difference between the two for your fellow listener. All right. If you would buy a traditional term policy, you would buy it for 10, 15, 20, 30 years. And all a term policy is, is its death insurance. There's no savings to it, no investing to it. It just pays off in the untimely event of your death and pays whatever the face amount is, if it's half a million, a million, quarter million, whatever. And it's one of those things where it does get cheaper per $1,000 as you go up the line and is really a very, very inexpensive thing. Now, the alternative is to buy a return of premium term that usually costs 30% more per year in premiums. And if you buy a return of premium, the idea is that if you outlive the policy, the insurance company then returns to you all the money that you pay. And it works out to be a return on your money on a typical return of premium of about 6% interest, which is really a good deal compared to where else you could earn what today? 3% in a CD. Right. So do you know why the insurance company can be so generous? Why is that? The overwhelming percent of people who take out a term policy never pay the policy for all the years. They'll let it, what's called lapse, they'll quit paying on it way before they hit 15, 20, 30 years. So if you're really good about paying your bills, and no matter what, you would always pay that premium, 
then return of premium insurance is a deal. But uh, the insurance companies play in the odds that it's something like 7 in 10 people let their policies lapse. All right. Makes sense. Makes sense. All right. Well, um, that's uh, definitely helpful information. Um, yeah, what what are some reasons that people would stop paying on their uh, on their life insurance policy? Would they just replace it or convert it to a whole life? Or? Well, no, their uh, their personal financial situation would deteriorate. Um, maybe, uh, excuse me for saying this to a newlywed, but maybe they were doing it to protect their spouse, and then maybe they get divorced at some time, and they're thinking, "I'm not going to have a policy to help her," you know, so right. they'll dump it or uh, any of a, a a number of life circumstances. But the main reason is sometimes people just aren't good about remembering, hey, once a year I got to pay this, that, or the other, and they don't do it. Gotcha. So gotcha. if you are good about remembering to pay your bills, you think you would stick to it all through the years, Chris, it could work fine for you. And our number is 423 702 9111 on this special live local hour of the Clark Howard Show. Coming to you on 95.3 Pulse News, WPR.